diaphragm's our key breathing muscle, respiratory muscle. And it's a huge dome shaped muscle. And it attaches in on itself in the centre and then attaches to the lower six ribs and all the way down to the lumbar spine. You breathe in, the diaphragm descends and widens the lower ribs. And when we breathe out, the ribs narrow and the diaphragm moves up into the chest cavity. So breathing in, the diaphragm pushes down on our abdominal contents so that the belly moves slightly out. And when we breathe out, um, the diaphragm goes back up into its dome shape. The diaphragm is just the most efficient way of breathing and that means that the diaphragm has a nice full movement when you breathe in and it relaxes fully when you breathe out. And when that happens, when the diaphragm is working well, it helps a whole lot of different functions in the body. It helps the digestive system work better. It helps the lungs to be more efficient, to get a better gas exchange. It's important for its effect on other muscles. If the diaphragm is working well, other muscles work well too. If the diaphragm is not working well, then we can become prone to back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, and you know the efficiency of the heart is affected by the diaphragm because the diaphragm helps to push blood back to the heart. There's even an influence of diaphragmatic breathing on our blood pressure and our general stress levels. So the diaphragm is a very, very important muscle and, and it's important to have it functioning efficiently for good breathing.